The rheometer is used for dynamic mechanical analysis and to analyze the viscosity of a material. Rheology is the study of the flow and deformation of matter. If you need help selecting a program, contact the person in charge. Make sure you know as precisely as possible what you are looking for and the type of data you want to find. Make sure to use proper personal protective equipment when operating the instrument. First, set up the software. The first tab shows the current instrument parameters. Preset the test temperature by changing the temperature in the required value column. If the temperature needs to be colder, use the liquid nitrogen by clicking Options, Instrument, and unchecking the box No Active Cooling, then click Apply. Check the liquid nitrogen tank level and the connectors to the tank. Turn the top valve on. A clicking noise will begin when the nitrogen is controlling the temperature during the experiment. In the next tab, the procedure is set up. By clicking on the step, you can edit all specifications for that step. To add a step, right-click on an existing step and select Add a Step. Click on the conditioning step to establish temperature and liquid nitrogen controls. In the Settings tab, set the test temperature. The control normal force, which controls the stress induced, can be checked as active, or the current settings can be used. Turn the liquid nitrogen on or off under the Advanced tab by checking or unchecking the Purge Gas Only, No Active Cooling box. If you are studying how the viscosity varies as the sample cures, add a time sweep step. Under the Test tab, add the type, duration, and initial temperature. Indicate either stress or strain controlled in the control variable. Also set the frequency as frequency or angular frequency. Specify single or multiple. If you are looking at the effect the frequency has on the shear moduli, add an oscillation frequency sweep. Under Test, indicate the range of angular frequency, which is typically 0.1 to 100 radians per second. Specify log mode and how many points per decade, which is usually 10. Also enter your initial temperature and if you want the variable to be controlled by stress or strain. A post-experiment step can be used to lower the temperature after the test. Under the File tab, enter in sample and file names. Make sure to save in the proper folder. Before installing the rheometer plates, make sure they are cleaned with solvent and Kim wipes. First attach the bottom plate by placing the lower plate in the center hole and holding as you tighten the screws. To attach the top plate, fix the plate onto the bar first and tighten the screws. Never attach the bar first as the transducer, which controls the machine, is very sensitive. Once the plate is secured, gently insert the bar and then tighten the thumb screw on the top of the instrument. It is important to zero the gap size for this type of experiment. To zero the gap between the plates, push the down arrow to lower the plates until the gap is about 1000 microns as indicated on the software. Click the zero the gap button on the software. Click continue and wait until a message indicates that the gap has been zeroed, then raise the top plate. If using a solidified thermoplastic, make a 25 mm diameter disc that is 1 mm thick and place on the rheometer plate. Deposit about 1 milliliter of liquid onto the bottom plate or until most of the plate is covered. Lower the top plate by pressing the keys on the instrument's control panel. Slowly lower it until the sample completely fills the plate. This should be around 500 microns or the typical gap size. Try not to under or over fill the plates. Next, close the oven doors around the sample and lock it. In the second tab, the plate geometry will be specified. Record the thickness that is specified in the first tab. Check the parameters of your test and then click on the green arrow to start the run. Here's an example of a typical time sweep graph. The graph that appears can be used to analyze many parameters, including the dynamic viscosity, storage and loss moduli, gel points, along with steady shear viscosity and complex or oscillating viscosity. When the run is finished, set the temperature to 30 degrees C. After the instrument is cooled, open the oven doors. For liquid samples, raise the top plate a few centimeters and remove the bar using the screw on the top of the machine. Remove the plates by loosening the screws. For samples that have cured, loosen the screw for the bar first to prevent damage to the transducer. Use the arrows to move the instrument down. Remove the plates and bar together and pull the plates free if possible. Clean the plates for future use. Finally, turn off the liquid nitrogen.